at your game and esports, hot topics, hot tweets, and spicy memes. I'm Marissa Roberto. And I'm Brody Moore, and it like kind of feels like nice to have you back on the desk. Just a wee bit, not much. Oh, what are you doing? <gasps> Did you miss me, little muffin? Okay, a little bit, but enough feels. Go away now. And we get back to normal. We gotta let you know how the show works. We're gonna put two minutes on the clock for each item we're presenting, and then we're gonna discuss. Ooh, that's right. However, there's a shut up button mm. that each one of us can press if we feel the other is being stupid, um, <clears throat> which happens often with Brody, obviously. <laughs> shout out to chat. We like it when you call us out when we're wrong or agree with us when we're right, so be sure to get in on the discussion. Okay, Brody Moore. Yeah? Let's get to okay. it. It's time to dive into our debate with some Overwatch League news. Early viewership stats are now out for Overwatch League's second season, and they're not so great. According to the Esports Observer, Stage 2 of the current season has less viewership than Stage 2 of the league's first season. Roughly 45,000 viewer people are actually watching it on a week-by-week -week average, mm. although it's important to note that only one week of Stage 2 has aired. Yes. Okay, so that's obviously a very important factor in all of this, but Brody, do you think that maybe Overwatch League should be a little concerned? I mean, they should have been concerned when they picked Overwatch as their game to do this with. Okay. I mean, it was a disaster from the start. Look, okay, here's the thing. Disclaimer. I like playing Overwatch. Okay. But on the side of spectating, I've been over this. You all know this. <laughs> it's a trash game to watch. It is just not good to watch. The maps are too corridored. There's too many people on the six versus six. That's 12 players you have to track now. And each of them have multiple different abilities and ultimates. It's just way too much going on. It's mm. not good for expansion. You're not going to get the regular audience in there. Yeah. Like, if you're trying to reach out onto TV that and try to get uh, just a general audience that don't mm -hmm. know much about video games into an eSport, Overwatch is not the one to do it. Same with any MOBAs in that, and this is akin to that. Mm -hmm. If you're going for a game that's way too deep and, and has a big meta, you're not going to mm -hmm. expand. You're going to reach a peak, and that's as far as you're going to get. Now, numbers dropping. That's normal. That happens at any eSport. Yeah. When you level out, you know, people are checking it for the first time, find out they don't like it, you'll levy out. I wouldn't be too concerned yet, but I really don't think they're going to have much more growth. Uh, yeah, print that, put it on a t-shirt, Overwatch League, not gonna grow. Uh, I don't know, I, I want to agree with you because I see the same things. I feel like everybody that got into Overwatch, already got into Overwatch, wants to watch yep. Overwatch, they're there, they're watching mm -hmm. it, they're in it. Like obviously Ronald Lee, mm -hmm. who was here uh, agreeing and disagreeing with you yesterday, but especially about Overwatch, he would defend this to his death for sure. But yeah. I agree that, uh, I don't know if they're gonna be able to pull in a new audience because it is very difficult to watch. So obviously all those people that were watching on ABC for the first time, trashing it like crazy. Yeah. Wanting to I mean, know why a, this is on their television. To defend to defend Overwatch League, that's going to happen with any esport. You throw yeah. it on TV, the inevitability is that people are going to trash it because it's video games and they don't care about video games. But, well, okay. I, but what, if you just give it to a regular audience, that's what happens. Uh, yeah, but if it was an easier game to watch, like Rocket League, for example. Yes, I agree with you. And I they had city-based. No, th you're right. And they had city-based teams. I feel like that could see growth and that could really take off with something. Overwatch is going to be a harder sell for all these other people. Do I think they're in trouble? No, I feel like there's a lot of money in Overwatch. Okay, two minutes is They've up. Got Another streaming news, YouTube and NBA 2K League announced that video giant will uh, simulcast live games this season. Every single one of the 230 regular season games as well as tournaments and playoffs can now be watched on YouTube as well as Twitch. The second season of the NBA 2K League began last week and will end on August 3rd with the finals. Mm. Is this enough for sports games to be like <laughs> taken seriously? You know the, what? The, the, the accessibility, is that enough? Listen, I know you're asking this sarcastically because you don't yeah. believe in any of this, no. so whatever, like poo-poo on you, Brody I'm Moore. Listen, you are. Uh, that's okay. Listen, I appreciate your honesty, but uh, I do appreciate the simulcasting thing, although I feel mm -hmm. like if you're already on the internet watching any kind of eSport, you're usually watching on Twitch. That's fine. Yeah. I guess YouTube gives it another audience if there's somebody there that wants to watch it. I just feel like the audience they have right now is kind of where it'll stay for quite a while. I'm not sure if they can get any mm -hmm. more viewers out of it. It's kind of a difficult scene. Sports, esports in general are difficult, especially with the 5v5 yeah. scenario that they're having. Obviously, we see growth within FIFA, but that's been around for a while, and it's going to take a while for NBA 2K League to find its legs. I think there were just too many too many big pockets investing too much money in the mm -hmm. beginning, and there's no mm -hmm. way it can live up to those standards. I know even like the chair company that invested in it, like they put all their eggs in that basket, and like, where's the return? Where's the return? There's no ROI on this like it's just not happening for them they're not making any money at all so it's just gonna take years man this is lady marissa coming i'm on business with, coming all the time look at this shirt it's green i'm all about money <laughs> money 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 okay go 
I don't even know where to go for that. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, 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 it's, re it's real. So I think I think the issue is that you know so many of the sports organizations are like, hey, video games, esports, that's blowing up. Let's get into it, but they didn't know why it was blowing up. Yeah. People watch esports because they watch the best of the best at their craft. But the thing is, they're watching games about things that you can't do in real life. Right, mm. like, like MOBAs that you, it doesn't exist in real life. Yeah, but you it's know, easier. Like, but MU2 think is easier to watch than Overwatch if you've never played these yes, games before. Yes, but the the point at that would just be why wouldn't I just watch the sport if there isn't anything added to it? Like the the game and the sport are exactly the same. Well, they're not why exactly not the just same because the there's a delay. Obviously, in basketball, basketball you see a guy, you shoot the ball, it's all good. But while you're playing the game, there's a moment of delay there, right, where your teammate has to be kind of in sync with you and uh, anticipate that delay when you're making a move. To pass or whatever it is. No, what still I'm saying is, they're, they're, like, if you want people to more people to get into like a sports video game, you're gonna have to add something. Like I don't know, add power ups or something. You know, add no. something that you can't do in real life. No, because you're taking Otherwise, away from the beauty of the game itself. These, these games were made then to why replicate I just the actual watch real life the actual game. game. Because everything's going digital, baby. Maybe we're not gonna see these athletes IRL play anymore. You don't know how the world's gonna work. I don't think that's gonna happen. I'm just saying, Marissa Roberto. Like calling it, you're. 3,029. 3,000? 3, I can't wait. Uh, shut up. <laughs> Elsewhere, <laughs> one Hollywood talent agency is going all in on streaming. Loaded, an agency with an esports and streaming focus, has signed Shocks, Skadoodle, and Dakotas to its talent roster. The agency will manage the star's entertainment opportunities and partnerships. Loaded has already signed Ninja, who re signed with the agency earlier this year, as well as Shroud. Hmm, money, money, money. Brody. Pretty Would stark. you sign with a talent agency given the opportunity? It depends. Uh, I mean, there's already a couple um, in the states. Yep. You know, there's you know one of the biggest ones we know is uh, CSA, mm -hmm. um, and now of course uh, there, Loaded. There's also there's also Red in the EU as well. Yeah, uh, Red. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, red but eyes, yeah. but uh, you know there there are a few, and I think they can they can be beneficial. But if we start getting too saturated, like there's too many of yeah. them, it would like you know it starts to be like, what's the point? You can almost mm. probably get as many gigs. On your own. Without it, yeah, but these people have, like, obviously the talent they're signing get a lot of people approaching them. There's mm -hmm. there's DMs on Instagram, there's DMs on Twitter, there's emails Ooh, they're what? getting constantly. So something like this is great to manage it's all of that. Especially with this. I think yeah. th what you need is those big bangers. You got Shroud, yeah. you got Ninja, now you got Shocks. Like, these these are big names. And being yeah. signed on to a talent agency with people like that mm -hmm. instantly gives you a bit of clout, right? Instantly sure. it's like, okay, I'm, I'm coming in, I got an esports event, I'm looking at, uh, okay, I know Ninja, I know these, right? Yeah. Oh, who's this person? They must be good if they're on this roster, right? Mm -hmm. So just just signing with an agency for signing with an agency, I've seen it happen to people before, it doesn't do them any benefit and oftentimes they're losing out on stuff uh, because of it. So I think you have to be very careful about what you want as talent um, mm. when you're signing with an agency. Yeah. It's the same with, it, the same thing goes with players. So many times I see players in, in esports sign with an org because like, oh, it's official, I'm signing with an org, mm. where they are getting screwed. Oh, completely. So no, you this have to be is, very, it's just very careful. very important, number one, to read contracts, okay? See yeah. what these agencies are going to take from you and hopefully they're getting more from them than they're taking from you. Yes, big names are signing with these people, but be careful because with agencies like this, they're mm. gonna sign big names and they take people that are coming in that really wanna be a part of something and they take like an astronomical percentage or not give exactly mm -hmm. what these streamers want in return, right? So you have to be careful of who you're signing with, uh, what they're taking from you, especially with a lot of these smaller streamers as well. They're getting taken advantage of by other companies that are trying to sell something and they don't actually get any money in return. It's just like mm -hmm. they give them some of their products to like show off, but that's free. Literally, they're giving you something for free. They're getting a bunch, a buttload of free advertising. It costs them nothing the to benefits. give to you. Exactly. Weigh the benefits of the whole situation. Mm -hmm. Understand uh, who is trying to take money from you and uh, if you're getting any return. Yet again, Remember Marissa the talking way no, over our two no, minutes, no, no, no. so stop, because we gotta you go to our last me. story. Valve is stepping in, change the rules. I'll save it for later. For the final Dota Major this season, Valve is taking away the third qualifying spot for China, Europe, and CIS at the Epicenter Major due to the perceived unfairness by the organizers. Mm -hmm. There's no word yet on what regions will get those spots in exchange, but Epicenter is leaving the decision up to Valve. This mm -hmm. is an interesting one, because Valve, we know is very hands off. So mm -hmm. Valve is stepping in, it That's seems cool. like there's a real situation, but the question is, you know, is this unfair to these regions that their spots are being taken away? Because now mm -hmm. they have to, they, 
can't play locally. They got to travel somewhere else. Yeah, it's a lot and, of money. You know, but at the same time, if it is you know unfairness and it's going to make the esport look bad, I guess there's an obligation for Valve to step in. Uh, this is, this could go out of the way. Like this is. Yeah, because we don't know exactly what's going on, right? Like if Valve is stepping in, then obviously it's been something serious. Like Valve usually doesn't put eggs in these baskets. Like as many yeah. eggs as we see, anyway, we don't see any of them. They, they don't, don't have step a lot in of eggs. Of they they, they ain't don't Easter have. Bunny. A, well, they have a lot of eggs, but they keep them to themselves. Okay, and they kind of let the community sort of manage themselves as well so yeah. the fact they're stepping in to make sure that things are going I love it I, I love it I feel like publishers should be stepping in they should make sure that things are running well but they also need to leave a lot to the community mm. right so uh, I don't really know where this will go from here obviously um, you and I are not like hard on the Dota life and Dota scene but um, I only want the best things for these people they've already grown their scene astronomically mm -hmm. I can't imagine I just don't want their, these teams these orgs having to spend dough they don't have Right, to have yeah. to come and compete. Well, that's that's the other thing is like, is it is this fair now for them to, yeah. to step in after they've already put all this money and they've already got everything underway and and mm -hmm. you know things are on the go and then Valve can step in and say, yo, what up? Yeah. Nah. Like, like nah. That, me? Like uh, now nah, because it, uh, it's so tough. You get it from Valve. Like yeah. you want the integrity of your esports to be good, but at the same time. It's kind of a, a, a poopy move to just step in and tell these organizers that are putting their money into it. To stop. Yeah, especially if Valve's not giving those organizers any chat money at all. Needs to help us here. Yeah, that's gonna I be. Can't yeah, yeah, chat. Obviously, let us know what you think about this whole scenario. Like, I, I don't know. The fact that Valve has left so many things alone gives me hope that they're not going to try to change too much now. They can't just like yeah. step in and change all the stuff, right? Without the community being super upset. Yeah, but uh, I don't know. But they have to. Chat. <laughs> press one for have to. Press two for for no. Because anyway, I, I need to know to make yeah. up our mind. Uh, now it's time to see what streamers are up to in Clip It. Our first is an oldie but a goodie and comes from a Asai who had way too much fun rocking out. <laughs> Yo, that is committed. Right back at it. Don't <laughs> He gets back into it. Yeah, this has been shared a lot more recently yeah, now because yeah, yeah. it, it kind of went away. Now it's back. Yeah, uh, I love give lo that, Oh my gosh, that man is is one of the best. I will I will say though, like I'm really not like insanely good at Guitar Hero, but like playing you behind are. your head really isn't like that hard. No, straight up, you're very good at Guitar Hero. I don't compliment you a lot, but you're <laughs> like ever. crazy good at Guitar Hero. But have you had any uh, streaming fail moments like that? Uh, oh, I definitely, because <laughs> I like some songs I like to stand up and play, and mm. I've definitely like run into stuff while I'm rocking it a little bit too okay. hard. Yeah. I'm assuming that's been clipped somehow? Uh, I, maybe, but don't try to look. Hmm. Yeah, don't worry about it. Hmm. All right, our next clip uh, comes from Summit 1G, so let's take a look. <laughs> that's okay. Wow. I'm going to have to keep track of that money. I can't. Okay. I got to give that to Vinny later. All right, gotta get used to going to this house. It's right there. Oh! oh what oh, the? F oh, oh, is this an insurance scam? What oh, the? Oh, f you okay, man? Oh, I'll call the police. <laughs> <laughs> so that. I'll call the police. That, like, was it? I thought this was set in America, not Russia. That happened so much there. Insurance scams. That's why everyone in Russia has dash cams now. Because so many people will do that's a real thing. People will like go in front of your car when you're driving and try to get you to hit them so yeah, that they can so sue crazy. you. That's so wet. That's, that's taking brilliant to the next though. level, yeah. Pull, pulling up a map, just instantly there's a body in front of you. Um yeah, I mean obviously they he's just trying to pull one over on summit, but like I don't that's the fun thing about role playing. I, I actually want to see now if that uh, if they had to go to court. I want to see them go through court. I don't know why I'd ever be excited about that, but I am now. Well, it's fun when it's like in game. You don't have to worry about your own money or paying like actual lawyers. It's oh, all just true. happening yeah. in game. Yo, this RPG thing. Every time I see a clip of it, I want in. I want more. But uh, moving on, it's time to see what the pros have been sharing on social media with profound thoughts. Mm. Yeah, baby. Our first post comes from Overwatch pro Harry Hook, complimenting his teammates' sense and style. Look at, he says, LMAO, Unco slippers look good today. No. He's got uh, some bills. He's got some bills in those slides, those Gucci slides. So, um, first of all, I hate uh, feet. I hate feet too. Why was this put on here? Okay, Can we listen, fire whoever okay, did that? To be was fair, that you? No, it was actually Lisa. Okay. <laughs> 
You're fired. Uh, to, to be fair, uh, they're not thongs. First of all, I don't like when men wear thongs. Number one, just put I'm it out there. I'm wearing a thong there. right now. No, no, like the like the sandal thong because they make that like flip flop sound when you're walking. I just it's really revolting to me. I don't want to see your toes. <laughs> and if you're gonna show off your toes, please please take care of them. Can you please get them pedicured I've or maybe just like file them down, cut them, do something. I don't want to see your mm -hmm. hairy ass feet either. Please just clean all of that up if you're gonna put your feet out there. I hate when guys wear jeans and the flip flops too. This guy has shorts on, that's fine. And he had slides, which is okay. Slides are more acceptable. It'd be better if you're hiding your feet though. I would even accept socks in slides just so I wouldn't have to see them's feet. Also slides like at home, don't take them out and about. Listen, I just don't wanna see, I just don't wanna see feet. I don't wanna see your feet. I, I just feel like those should all be covered up. Okay? Yeah, I got Also, that, like, that, trim your nails. <laughs> Guys need to freaking trim their nails. I hate you nailed fingernails, it. too. I, I don't trust a man that has, like, white on their fingernails that I can see. Preach. Just letting you know. Preach. Uh, uh, preach. Also, no. By the way, I need to call him out. Uh, our producer, Tyler, just said sandals and jeans are top tier. No. Okay, but Tyler's full on. No, no. Tyler has, like, dad status. Don't even dad, he's full on dad status. No. <laughs> Do not. Please stop wearing freaking flip flops and jeans. Just full stop on it. No. I'm just going to say it. I don't know any woman that enjoys that. So, no. like, if you want to hang, nobody. He wants us to move on, aren't we? <laughs> Next up, Call of Duty Pro uh, Mochila tweeted out of uh, <laughs> sorry, a reality for streamers <laughs> that many people may not think about. He said, "Got a stream to make money, but can't stream because I feel like dying, so can't afford to go to the hospital, doctor." <laughs> Good night. <laughs> yeah, real talk. That's why he's like, ha ha ha. ha, ha. <laughs> Good night. I, uh, I that love was those just like. Tweet. Just, uh, yeah, I don't know what it is, just so drastic, the contrast. Yeah, it's like, it's yeah I'm dying. But, uh, uh, yeah. I, I don't know, just it does beg to br uh, bring up a good question. I mean, like, obviously, um, not every country will have to do this, but, you know, a lot of streamers are in, in the USA, mm -hmm. and they don't always have the best healthcare plans are. Do you think there's, like, a possibility for, like, Twitch to maybe, like, at a certain status or certain income mm -hmm. on Twitch, they'll take money out and put it into a healthcare plan? I wonder uh, if that's a Yeah, I mean, you could, but the thing is with these streamers, like once you reach a certain status in life anyway, you can also get your own healthcare. Um, I think that's how it works in the States anyway. Like they actually have to invest in their own healthcare. We mm -hmm. in Canada have obviously a system where we yeah, invest in our own Twitch healthcare as a, as a country. make that system for these streamers. Um, think about it. They prob probably all have legal stuff. You know, but yeah. think about it. I don't know. Maybe they would do it, but I, that might take money for them to do. So why not just leave it up to the individual streamer? Hmm. I don't know, man. Our last profound thought comes from Dota 2 personality Sir Action Slacks, who, yep. by the way, is a contender for one of our favorite tweeters. This time he said... Next to my home, there's a store simply called Reptiles, and I think about it often. <laughs> Who would invest their own in their own business, buy the property, stock it up, and when the time came for the name of the store, they simply name it Reptiles. I think about going in there many times, oh, so many times, <laughs> but what? obviously he never has. Yo, what, straight what up, that is, is it, a, though? I think it, they, must, it sell they reptiles? must sell reptiles. They must just, that he hasn't has gone to. in. But like, I feel like he's right. Like, if you just <laughs> did that, it's just called Reptiles, I almost want to pull a debate on people and yeah. like go inside not and it's like fish or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or like they sell, you know, sandals or something. You know, something completely oh my different. God, that actually would work because it, okay, sandals for men, and that I would call you a reptile. Oh, that's what it is. Right, that might be what it is. Uh, no, Brody, but obviously I want to know the business name that you would come up with for your own business that you invest time and money in. That I invest time and money in? Yeah. What would it, what would oh, it, be it would be called the greatest totally not poopy store. Brody, you're not even trying. You, God, you you're put me so on the spot, okay? annoying. You ha you have had businesses before. Yeah. And what did you call them? Oh, they were very simple. Let's play KW was one. It was very Weak. regionalized, though. That's what I'm saying. That was a regional. Stop putting me on the and spot, wait, okay? Wait, Enough what, no, of wait. You. What's your tag again when you finish your streams? Stop it. What is it? No, what is it? Thanks for watching, and as always, keep gaming hard. <laughs> <laughs> you're so stupid. Time for crowd control. You can, so you can shut up. Uh, we got some of the good stuff from the web to show you, or at least I think we got the good stuff. So to start this off, I want to bring things to the real world. Twitter's AI had a bit of a stumble when they came across some curious accounts. I'll just let this video explain it all. Um, we have been working on developing some new machine learning models to help us identify um, potential groups of accounts engaged in political manipulation. And we were looking at some of the output of this model and we identified this group of accounts that looked like they were impersonating local police departments and mayors of towns. Holy crap. And I was looking at them and I'm like, 
what is happening here? There's like 50 of these accounts. This is like clear manipulation. Like this was a problem. And then, and then I saw that one of the mayors was tweeting about being in a K-hole. And I'm like, hang on a second. Like, why is this mayor on ketamine and talking about that on Twitter? And then I realized that all of these accounts were operated by somebody who was role playing as characters from the Grand Theft Auto video games. All of the cities that they were operating these accounts from were places where a GTA game has been set. And they built up this elaborate fantasy role playing community with accounts on Twitter that were talking to each other. It's brilliant. All that, like Twitter's like built, like so much money invested into this AI to find, to make sure there's no political manipulation going on. And, and all, all they, they uncover is Grand Theft Auto role players. How much time wasted on that, my God. That's uh, so good. Yeah, that stinks. That's I mean, brilliant. like, feels bad, man, but it, that's just how communities kind of operate. Now, my, my only concern is that we're, you, you know, they're going to delete these accounts, and now these role-playing, you know, situations are going to be worsened. Like, I, I feel like there should be a clause on Twitter that will allow for role-playing ones as maybe, maybe if you, like, state that you're role-playing in it as well. Well, it like definitely should. Of, like, this is not a real person. This but is then a, it's not yeah. full role-playing. So oh, my know. God. No, there should be a disclaimer for people there that are too stupid to realize. Right? There <laughs> should be some kind of disclaimer or like an asterisk or some kind of, you know how they have a check mark for some people? They should yeah. have some kind of different uh, Just something. a GTA symbol beside it. That's or, the new yeah, check mark. Yeah, like for whatever they're role-playing as. Why not? <laughs> I don't know. Just ideas for your Twitter. Listen, let's keep it Grand Theft Auto themed, shall we? Yo Sambo found himself in a weird predicament. Oh, yeah. This is like what it's like for me to get up in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hold on a second, because you're like dodging traffic to get to your bus? Oh, like, no. This is, this is just the getting out of bed part. Oh, okay. This is like honestly what this is. You know what this is like? This is like having a, a dream when you have a fever. You know, have you ever had a fever dream? Where you oh, feel like okay. you're falling, yeah, yeah, yeah. or you feel like you're like it's a it's messed up, man. I'd say I it's, do not suggest it. I'd say it's more like you know dealing with you. You know, no matter how far you go, you know, a truck's eventually just gonna hit you in the face and drag you back down. What does that have anything to do I with me? I don't know. It was an insult. But and it, it kind of got it, there. No, it wasn't even close right, to being I'll there. I'll try better next time. Yeah, please do. Uh, okay, uh, let's forget <laughs> about that moment and move on to our last <laughs> post. It comes from Joy and Dota, who relates uh, their attached picture to, of course, Dota. But I think this applies to probably all of us toxic gamers. Mm -hmm. We've all had this. Is it, this one sparks joy. GG easy. <laughs> this one does not spark joy. GG well played. Aww. It never feels good. It's not the same thing to say GGWP. Like it's, I don't want to compliment. Like it hurts for some reason to be nice at the end of a game in an online you game. You know what? No, it doesn't. It feels really good to be nice. Honestly, no, it feels it does. really like, no, good I know, listen, to say I know that it's really easy. hard sometimes to be nice, especially when you end up being the loser in the scenario, but I promise you it's very good karma to just be kind. Like, literally, take that moment, try not to be negative, because I know we all have short and proud. Like, we all kind of take joy in other people's pain, which is so messed up, and we should not feel that way at all about anybody no. in life. But listen, if you just have positivity in your life and you kind of put... Like, we don't show that to each other, I get it, but this is where, <laughs> we, this is where we exact all of our anger on each other. But outside of is I promise we're friends and we do have love for each other. It's just, um, and I do wish you well in all the things you do in your life. I never want you to have any kind of GG. Just GG. Too much love. You're done. Uh, Be hateful. Be aggressive. GG easy. I win this whole segment and you can't say anything about it. Get wrecked. So we're going to say goodbye, because that's all the time we have for Unmuted. Let us know if you find anything you want to talk about on the internet. Hit us up on our Discord and all our socials at Squad State. And we'll see you tomorrow. Direct.